10 Tricks Used by Advertisers Everyone knows that good advertising is the key to a successful business. Commercials, booklets, ads are so commonplace that most people don't even notice seeing them everywhere. That's the very reason why any self-respecting company's marketing budget tends to grow year after year. As for creating new, modern, and fresh content to get customers to buy, what you're offering is an ongoing game. Today we're going to tell you about our top 10 picks for the most interesting advertising facts and tactics. Just about everyone may remember the iconic cowboy from the Marlboro commercials, but you may not know that in the beginning there were actually three other smoking contenders, an athlete, a gunslinging armorer, and the captain of a ship. No one came close to matching the cowboy's success, and ironically, all of them ended up dying of lung cancer. Which goes to show you, no matter who you are, smoking is bad for you. Female Nude Another marketing strategy ad makers love to use is showing off the nude female figure. The earliest recorded use of female nudity in advertising is said to be in about the year 1800, and nowadays just about everything has been advertised with the help of the wondrous female body. Beer, children's supplements, chocolate, new technology, detergent, cars, and so much more that would seem has nothing or very little to do with nude women. Pull up your shirt. By the way, the marketing department at Disney seems to have jumped on board with using sexual innuendos in their advertising, as observed when the internationally renowned Disneyland theme park opened displaying a poster right in the front entrance of a young lady under whom read a sign, pull up my shirt to see more. They were penalized in court in 2009 for using the ad that ended up being targeted mostly to children. Just imagine if the girl on the poster already had her shirt pulled up navel high. Particularly sensitive, more on kids. The American Psychological Association determined that children before the age of eight are particularly receptive to advertising. Scientists in the field of marketing determined that it only takes a child getting hysterical nine times before on the 10th parents give in to buying them what they wanted and give away their hard earned money to sly companies. That's probably why most ads include the presence of children. Unnecessary. Conscious consumers know that a well-made and demanded product doesn't need advertising. Curious that a study in 2006 showed that $492 million was spent on advertising soft drinks and colas while dairy companies dished out $67 million. Psychology In order to make purchasers give in to the needs of companies, they turned to psychologists. Earlier we looked into ads that included female nudity, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. The most direct way to get a buyer to buy is to appeal to their psychological aspects, such as fear, self-respect, self-preservation, celebrity, and by showing them successful people which gives in to their lust for power. Looking good. Any photographer will tell you that it takes some skill to make your food look good enough to eat on a photo, and that has led to some unique and crafty solutions for photo shoots. For instance, instead of using real ice cubes, most often they're made out of acrylic, and those baked chickens they show you on TV are usually stuffed with paper towels and painted on to make them look more appealing. Keep in mind that a crispy outside isn't usually the work of good grilling, but rather oftentimes good brushwork. Feeling apologetic. Regardless what feminists say, most times children are preyed on most by advertising companies. And ladies, it's said that there are approximately 10 times more advertisements in women's magazines than in men's, and most covers display approximately 75% of their face with suggestions about how ladies can change their physical appearance. How's that for playing on your psyche? The word advertisement is usually associated with TV and print. As you'd have it, people with a sound mental stake can see through absurd or oftentimes abstract attempts marketers make at selling them things, so the most creative ad people usually aim for something unique at getting their message across. For instance, a New York One ad ran, from here it looks to me as though it's time for you to get a new pair of underwear. What woman could withstand a pitch like that, right? IKEA. In the search for consumers' preferences, some ads touch on their sexual ones. IKEA is considered to be the first company to feature a homosexual couple buying furniture for their new home. The date of its first run is 1994.